I, you know, one of your questions is about, um, you know, the future of the game. What do you see would, would be a, a change? And, and for me, working with the sport for almost, you know, over half a century as a, as a coach, I love the rule changes that we are seeing that keep the ball flying. You know, when I played you in the Olympics in 84, you could serve a block and serve. So you're serving block. And it was like, well, there it is. There's no rally there. But you also had were called on reception all the time for a double hit. And you would shank the ball and they go and the rally would end. And it's like, give us a break. The problem is the shank. Don't <laughs> let us chase it down. And so they made that change. And, you know, the hands were so tight and they loosen the hands up, even though there's still a standard of excellence. And those things that are important for kids and for the Olympics is that every spectator loves the rallies, not the path, the jumps or kills per se. Sure, if you're trying to win the match, you're excited about that jumps or kill, but there's no volleyball. So when I played in the, in the IVA, it was called the we had all the 76 Olympians like Skorak was our setter and in our league and all this other great stuff. Um, the Mikasa attempt to make a ball that I still have several of, but a ball that was deadened. So it just wouldn't fly as fast. And therefore, reading and reaction times being what they are in human beings, you had a little bit more, better chance to to dig the ball and keep the ball flying. And, you know, I, I see that happening in tennis. I see that happening even a little bit in baseball in my sport, where I'm jealous of your country and of Europe is that you don't have these sports like baseball and American football. So you get really good athletes. You know, your listeners may not realize that in our country, this is a pretty, you're an engineer. So there's that classic pit photo that Carl McGowan has and I have that's an engineering building in Scotland, as I recall, is the goal of engineering that says facts, not opinions. And I love that phrase. I, you know, that's a great phrase. So when we play our sport, the 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 rallies are what makes it fun for all of us at every level and so can you know if you want to make your son right now love volleyball play every night five minutes with him over a string with a balloon and the more he plays balloon volleyball at his age the more he's going to love volleyball when he gets to it because it's I, the, one of the most intense matches we talk about I've ever seen was Steve Timmons against Karch Karai before the 84 Olympics, playing over a table. I think it was at Bill Neville's house, as the story goes. But they were playing balloon volleyball. And to see two Olympians attempt to put a balloon down on each other was very intense. I'll just leave it at that. Very intense because they wanted to win with this damn balloon, which made it harder to stop the rally. So it's a, it's a, it's that kind of modifications to the game to keep the ball flying that I, I think we need to come up with more. Um, and I love the rule changes that do allow that. I, again, in 96, we made that, we passed that big rule that was, um, whole body because up until then waist and above probably when you played waist and above then you'd be there digging and it would rock it off your leg or rock it off your foot and they go and they make that below the waist signal <laughs> like get rid of that rule he's almost exactly where he should be and he dug it <laughs> let him keep playing but keep the ball flying that's that's part of the joy of of what we need to bring, I think, to our sport, um, for sure. I really like that you start to answer the questions by yourself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Why not? Why not? Um, 